Make no mistake, we have got much more work to do. We need to continue reaching out to Canadians of all backgrounds to make our case for change. And I think one way that we can do this more effectively is by having more women on our team. And I believe that strongly. Interim Conservative Leader Rona Ambrose making it official. She is leaving federal politics. The Edmonton area MP will resign her seat when the House breaks for the summer. Ambrose has been interim leader since 2015. Conservatives will choose their next permanent leader at a convention here in Toronto later this month. So in the comments today, Ambrose's colleagues from all parties paying tribute to her dedication to public service. She was first elected back in 2004, brought into Prime Minister Stephen Harper's cabinet in 2006. And over the years, she held several posts, including health and minister of public works. As status of women minister, she was on the team that created the UN Day of the Girl. Today, she was honored as a skilled and well-liked leader. I, I must say Serving I as an interim leader is a tough job that the Leader of the Opposition has embraced with a confidence and a commitment to service that impresses everyone who has the privilege of working with her, for her, and opposite her. She will be missed as an MP and as a great leader of the Conservative Party. Uh, my personal favourite, for the record. Uh, <laughs> Now, Ambrose recently spearheaded a law that forces all federal judges to get sexual assault law training. After she sets down in June, Ambrose will move to Washington to lead an institute on Canada-U.S. relations.